Rafa, welcome to Manchester Lane. This is our proving ground for the number one ball in golf where we do testing year round. We have Mike Matson with us, who is our aerodynamic engineer, and uh, we're gonna have some fun. Absolutely. So you play Pro V1X. Yes, I do. Why don't you hit one for us? Thank you. Perfect. Let's see how that goes. Ah, straight. I'll be happy with that. Yeah. Pretty good. All right, well, let's see how you do with this one. No dimples. <laughs> no dimples. No dimples. I don't think I'll do so good. <laughs> That's the most weird flight I've ever seen. <laughs> and I think I just made it past the 100 yard one. So take a look at this golf ball. Aside from the markings, what do you notice about this? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Why don't you tee it up with the black arrow facing down the fairway? Okay. So the black lane, the black lane facing towards the fairway. Yep, yep. Right, right where you want to hit it. So it looks like that ball is probably about 35 yards left. Let's try the red arrow. See what happens when you hit the red arrow. Way right. So Mike, Rafa said it looked like a normal golf ball to him when he teed it up. What's going on? So the good news is it's not you. It's 100% aerodynamics. So the dimple pattern on here is the same layout, same diameters that we have on the Pro V1X ball. Mm -hmm. The only difference is the depths on one side are different than the depths on the other. The difference between the two is probably only a few thousandths of an inch in depth, and this is the result that it creates. Wow. which really speaks to our desire to really make the aerodynamics on our golf ball consistent in every step of the process. Because when we're talking about golf ball aerodynamics, there's a lot to go into the dimples. It's how we design the golf ball, how we make the tooling that we're gonna mold them in, actually molding the golf balls and painting the golf balls. Every piece of that process contributes to the overall aerodynamics, which is why we want to control every single step. Wow, but it's, it's incredible. I mean, the, the margins you're talking about just on one side and it's producing like a massive mistake, yeah. but that's not even like uh, important to our level. It's important to any amateur in the world if they're not playing uh, a tight list. It's just like they could actually hit a perfect shot. That's right. And end up uh, losing the ball and it not being them. Yep, that's exactly wow. right. You made a good swing on both those two. I, two, I two hope balls, so, yes. <laughs> but you got a result you didn't deserve. And we see golf balls, competitive golf balls, that come to our competitive lab all the time that uh, the dimples on one side are deeper than the other. That difference in paint, that, that small film thickness can produce shots like this. And, and the same goes for refurbished golf balls. All of that means the golfer who's teeing those products up is getting a result that they don't deserve even after a good swing. We never want that to happen. I'm just uh, going to ask, can I hit one more just so that I take back? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this one's normal. You're not messing with This is with a normal me, no? one. Okay. Right down now. <laughs> 